Okay, so uh, I'd like to open up the uh, Board of Selectmen meeting for uh, Wednesday, May 2nd, uh, being a little after 6 p.m. We're, we're just changing up the order and not going to start with the executive session and go right into the parade permit. Um, we had some, oh, want to do the uh, Pledge of Allegiance or anything else? Do we want to start that? The Pledge of Allegiance, sorry. The scouts can lead them. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So we'd say we're staying with, staying with four. Okay. The parade permit. Um, I, I believe that Claire had some questions as to um, road closures, and if um, I, I believe you guys have done this yeah, in, previously. Yeah, in the application, it asked whether we were having road closures, and uh, and she was just wondering if if it would affect the uh, any any games or anything that were happening uh, on the Loop Road. Mm -hmm. And and if there if there's if you have any um, workarounds for those kinds of things, actually, I just met with Lou Sanborn at the high school, so I can answer that, which is great. I um, originally I thought we don't need to close anything because we didn't last year, but I've been talking with our volunteers who were there last year. I was not. I just joined Girls on the Run mm -hmm. in January. Um, several of them had feedback that it got a little messy in the area of the finish line because that's the access road that goes back behind the high school to get to i think it's hopkins right uh, not yeah, Elmwood, a bunch of fields fields right. elementary there. yeah so yeah. there there was an event that happened back there later in the day and so the girls in traffic were colliding so um well, not literally well no no no, no, no. I, I, not I literally I get it. of course not but um it had to be navigated and so i am actually wondering if we could close the access road. Well, the, 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 the tricky part of this is that is not a town road. So we addressed this, this question oh, okay. come up before and the, the police cannot detail on that access road because it's, it's, it's technically not, they're not able to. So they couldn't, they can only stand at the entrance of um, Hayden Row and the Loop Road is what I was told by the police officer. What happened last year is there were a number of details who were not available that day. So the number of details that we were supposed to have was not what we ended up having. So there ended up being congestion, not only at the, um, within the loop road is what you're mm -hmm. talking about, and absolutely because we, we did close the loop road. The loop road technically was closed last year, but people didn't abide by the oh. cones that were closing and a police detail wasn't able to be there because he instead went to the intersection of Hayden Row and Grove Street. So they kind of left there, as it was described to me by Officer, I forget if it was Porter or who it was, he said, we left our post. And so it did end up leading to some confusion. What does Timlin, what does Timlin Timlin closes that whole road. They close Hayden Row all the way down to Chestnut because they go, you know, they start at the Loop Road, they go down to Teresa, they run around, you know, Charles View, and then they come back up. And so Hayden Row is actually closed for Timlin. Um, Who does yeah. own the access road then? Because I was just talking to Lou and she said it needs to be approved by the town. It's the school. The school. The school. It's not. It's a school. Oh, so it's, it's a school drive. Decision. It's a school driveway. But one of the and that was, but one of the issues that uh, Claire had is that being a peak spring summer um, mm -hmm. weekend day that there may be several games going on and then you'll run into that same issue yeah and that she just wanted to make sure that there is a workaround that is safe for everybody yeah so i just actually asked lou that right now there's nothing scheduled the only reason something would be is because of a playoff game that they don't know Good. yet and if that happens she's going to work with the athletic staff to see if they can schedule it for post noon so that perfect that is answer and and to to what what we ended up doing last year is i stood <laughs> at the entrance to the loop road and we literally myself and a couple other um, girls on the run prior coaches literally stood there and when a car would try to turn into the loop road we turned them away and we said park in emc park we're sorry there's an event it is unsafe for you to turn onto this road right now and some people pulled in and went to the you know did a loop around came in through the hca bypassed us and went in 
I, you know, short of putting up like horses, you know, like the, mm -hmm. um, to the both entrances, you know, to the HCA, I mean, you could in theory block that off because that's where they drove in and then they drove through the parking lot and went because they're like, I have to get my son to practice, mm -hmm. you know, and Johnny couldn't walk from the high school parking lot to the back of the, to the loop road field. So you're what saying you think happening. we need more police detail? Is this detail? a passageway? You know this. It between, doesn't. Between the middle school and the high school. So they can they can't legally stop. Oh, oh. Our, our role is to approve whether or not we want to have this thing granted or not. The details of who's going to walk where and stand where and run where is up to the police department, the town manager's office, and everybody else. That is not our job. Okay. So these guys, we're wasting their time and we're wasting our time going through this, okay. in my opinion. So I would make a motion that the Board of Selectmen approve the parade permit as requested and to encourage the, or require the girls on the run, sort it out the police chief and the others in it's town good. to make it happen. Second that. I think that, I think it does need to be worked out with all those different entities, but I think that you're oversimplifying things of and kind of pushing it off our table. I um, am. You know, I mean, when we look at, when we look at <laughs> the Little League parade, and the fact that it was going to be going on while church was being said. And I didn't at, think that was such a great thing for us to debate either. Well, you didn't open your mouth then. <laughs> because I wasn't as cranky as I am right now. <laughs> Man, I This is so out of character for you two to have. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what we're supposed to be doing. We don't get into the weeds about who stands where no, for a road race. No, but typically, no, we don't, exactly. But we typically don't issue the permit until everything is ironed out. Well, I and just all, said it and has to be in parties, coordination with those parties. And all the parties are, are satisfied that things are going to be smooth. So I understand that part. So with that caveat, do we have a second? I did second that okay. before they're back and forth. So we, we have for That's a continued discussion. <laughs> okay, so with the caveat that if it is not worked out between the town manager, the schools, and everybody, and the police. Yeah, I think that the schedules need to be looked at with, you know, whatever, Little League, whatever, whatever teams are still playing back there. Um, that needs to be worked out. Okay. But we may. Can I ask for a clarification? Mm -hmm. Does that need to be worked out before we are approved, or we just need to provide proof well, that it I has think, been worked out? I think, prior that, to I think what we're talking about is approving, but a, a conditional, it's a conditional approval. approval. Okay. It's so. conditional approval that that it could be if if we hear that the day before that stuff hasn't been worked out that oh. it could be. If I may, yes. I mean we have over a thousand girls and their running buddies coming from across the greater Boston area. And so we're not really, please. excuse me, we're not really, we don't have the luxury of the day before if we learn that there's a Little League playoff game. I mean, we will develop a workaround in that, you know, they'll okay. park in the high school parking lot. So or no, the, park the, the, the workaround school, needs but, to be worked out before the day before. But we won't, <laughs> no, but to John, John said, if right. the day before, and I'm reacting yeah. to that because. No, but, but what we're saying is you need to coordinate with all these parties and say, okay, if there's a Little League playoff game on that day, we don't know if there's going to be or not, then this is what's going to happen. We need to know that those contingencies are okay. in place before That's fair, the day but we're not. Race. I'm right. saying we no, can't be a, sitting here saying the day before that. No. I mean, that's not really exactly. a so, practical I mean, perspective. All of those you know. contingencies have already been discussed. That mm -hmm. was the point of my meeting with Lou earlier today. Okay. We're on the same page. Lou who? Sanborn. Sanborn. She, she's, she's the athletic, athletic director's director. assistant. Um, she works with D. Okay. D so, King. She's, so, yeah, but what schedules is she looking at? The athletic so schedule. She, she's only looking at the school athletic schedule, or is she looking at soccer, you know, uh, youth league, soccer, lacrosse, baseball? They're not in there. Well, she would they're know not, whoever reserves that those field. fields. Yeah. The schools at that time. On a Saturday? They wouldn't be. Well, that's not true. No, yeah. they used to go down there. Yeah, no, that's not true. Yeah. You know, so, I'm fine with the conditional approval, but all I'm saying is all that stuff needs to be worked out because. And, you know, it may end up that someone is disgruntled and still wants to turn their car around and find a way around you. But as long as we the heads of the league are saying, okay, we understand and let's try to do this, right. I'm good with that. You know, I mean, I understand that they may not communicate things down to all of their people or maybe some parent right. ignores the email or whatever. Right, right. But. So, um, is do we reach out to who norman who is it parks and rec who do we i mean because am i re, are you asking us to reach out to you know all the individual sports teams that like a lacrosse team the baseball teams the soccer teams the 
you know, there, there could be a number of different people who, who are going onto those fields that don't even have... Well, somebody at the school... Yeah. Well, I think okay, that... Somebody at the school schedules fields. Yeah, yes, it's Lou, and she just, told me earlier that she wasn't going to schedule anything before harvest is over. So, so I guess the point that I'm trying to make in general here is not the role of the Board of Selectmen to coordinate public safety issues on the ground. That is the police chief's responsibility, You're and that is the right. school facilities director's responsibility. You're absolutely right. But why are we doing this here? Because, because this is the first time that we're going to be approving a permit when all that stuff, when we're not sure that all that stuff's been worked out already. Nobody, we, that's why we get comments from each of them. Saying, why don't yeah, we have those comments? Good. Again, this is not our problem. Why is it becoming our problem? It's not. Then let's just say all to the applicant and the town manager, get this worked out with the public safety people, please. Why are we in the middle of this? Um, actually, Maria had sent an email that said that the fire department and the police chief had signed off on approval. I got an email that said that, and I've spoken with the police chief and the, the Porter, okay, yeah, fire department. Uh, um, I worked this event last year. I'd like to request that they contact me one month prior to finalize mm -hmm. the security plan and detail officers. There will be no road closures for the event. I would like to request that they coordinate with the school's youth groups as last year, where parents were attempting to get to the fields for lacrosse when the loop road was closed for the race. Thank you, Jay. Yeah, so that's his comment, saying okay. that he wants that to happen. And it's in there, so go do it. What are, <laughs> what are we talking about this for? OK. So please make uh, Lieutenant Porter happy. We will. And we Thank you. Would. Okay, with that, the chair will, uh, will uh, all those in favor of granting so, the So can we just reaffirm what the motion is here? I sort of lost track. I think I made it. That we are granting a parade permit for the girls on the run subject to their um, coordination, coordination with between, but with public safety and the, and the schools. Great. Are you okay with that motion? That's fine. Do we have a, do we have a, a, a friendly your second? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, with that, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed, any abstentions? It carries. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Have a good night. You See too. You on June, June 9th. Don't mind us, we you all love running come. around here. You should all register, bring your friends, bring your family. Thank you. It's Not a fun that big of a runner. So, Chair, I'd like to a motion to go into executive session. So moved. For the purpose of? For, uh, for the purposes to discuss strategies with respect to collective bargaining updates by the town manager relative to police, fire, dispatch, or DPW unions because an open meeting may have detrimental effects on the bargaining positions of the board. To consider strategy relative to contra con contract negotiations with non-union personnel and to consider litigation strategy with respect to a petition of Eversource Energy for zoning exemptions because the chair declares that this discussion in open sessions will be detrimental to the litigating position of the board and to allow Norman Cavallo and Elaine Lazarus to be present and to convene an open session. Oh, no, well, we're not going to complete an open session after the executive, the executive session. We will. Only adjourn. to adjourn. Only to adjourn. Her, yes. Stone, yes. Just her, yes. And Catino, yes. Thank you very much. We'll be back.